So now let's go ahead and start building things. Animate can be used with a variety of image file formats. It's simply a matter of importing the files into a project. Let's go ahead and choose file. In file select import and in import go to import to stage. Let me select an image for my project. The image has now appeared on my stage and if we look into the library since it's a bitmap image we have imported it shows in the library as well. When something's in the library it means that we can drag multiple instances of that thing out of the library. To delete anything that you have dragged out that you don't want simply select and hit delete. Going back to properties panel using selection tool, I am going to select this image and set the width and height. I am going to set the width and height of about 200. Let me also set the XY position for this image. X position of about 35 and Y position of about 35. Image is aligned 35 pixels from the top and left. To keep the project from becoming too large, it's always best to bring pixel based image files into animate. So now let's go ahead and select the background image for my project. Let me take a new layer and import an image. You can import the image in two ways. either you can go to file, import, import to stage and select the image whichever you want or you can just go to that file, just drag and drop it on the stage. Now you can see the image is too large compared to my stage. So let me select it, go to properties and give a width of about 515 and a height of about 375 this was the size of my stage so I have selected this size now you can see it has fit in properly but you can also see there is no image seen on this stage so let me take the image layer on top of the background layer to not have further confusions let me rename the layers as the layer 1 consists of image so let me rename it as image and the layer 5 as background hey guys thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos and please do subscribe native brains